Pelias and Melisande by Maurice Maeterlinck is a symbolist play that delves into themes of love, fate, and the enigmatic forces that govern human existence. Set in a mysterious kingdom, the narrative revolves around the ill-fated love triangle between Prince Galad, his wife Melisande, and his half-brother Pelias. Maeterlinck's use of symbolism and ambiguity creates an atmosphere of haunting beauty, inviting readers to contemplate the deeper meaning behind the character's actions and emotions. At its core, Pelias and Melisande explores the complexities of human relationships, particularly the irrational nature of love. Melisande, a mysterious and ethereal young woman, becomes the object of desire for both Galad and Pelias, sparking jealousy and conflict between the two brothers. Yet, her true feelings remain elusive, shrouded in ambiguity and secrecy. This ambiguity reflects the unknowable aspects of human nature and the limitations of understanding others fully. The symbolism in the play adds layers of meaning to the narrative, enriching the reader's interpretation. The motif of water, for instance, recurs throughout the text, representing both the fluidity of emotions and the inevitability of fate. Melisande's attachment to her lost ring, which she drops into a well, symbolizes her longing for something beyond her grasp and foreshadows the tragic events that unfold. Similarly, the castle's dark, labyrinthine corridors mirror the characters' internal turmoil and the complexities of their relationships. Maeterlinck's use of language is equally evocative, drawing readers into the mystical world of the play. His poetic descriptions and lyrical dialogue create an atmosphere of dreamlike intensity, immersing the audience in the emotional landscape of the characters. The repetition of key phrases, such as Melisande's mysterious refrain of, I don't know, reinforces the sense of ambiguity and underscores the character's sense of bewilderment in the face of their own desires. Central to the play is the theme of fate and its inexorable power over the characters' lives. Despite their attempts to defy or escape it, the protagonists find themselves inexorably drawn towards their tragic destinies. Melisande's arrival in the kingdom, like a figure out of myth, signals the beginning of a chain of events that will ultimately lead to despair and destruction. In this sense, Pelias and Melisande can be seen as a meditation on the human condition and the existential struggle to find meaning in a seemingly indifferent universe. The ending of the play, with Melisande's death and the reconciliation between Galad and Pelias, is both cathartic and enigmatic. While the characters find closure in their own ways, the ultimate meaning of their experiences remains open to interpretation. Maeterlinck leaves readers with a sense of ambiguity, inviting them to reflect on the deeper implications of the narrative and the timeless themes it explores. In conclusion, Pelias and Melisande is a haunting and enigmatic work that explores the complexities of human relationships, the power of fate, and the mysteries of the human heart. Through its rich symbolism, poetic language, and ambiguous ending, the play invites readers to contemplate the deeper truths of existence and the elusive nature of love and longing.